Hello everyone, this is another video of uh, electric conversion. I converted the Razer MX650 from the stock 36 volt system to the 48 volt system. Um, quite a difference. I used this motor that I found on Amazon, 1800 watts. It's about three times as much power and it's this kit here comes with the controller and the and the throttle so the only other thing you need is the battery and i've used these batteries these um these are really batteries used for rc cars and planes but i like them because they're 12 volt batteries and i can just gang four of them together and they're only 20 bucks a piece so for just 230 dollars i was able to convert the the razor to a pretty peppy thing so as you can watch in this video this first part i just took the old batteries out and then i pulled the old motor out which was three screws and and a chain guard and at, at this point i was putting the new battery the new motor in now the new motor is the same size the only problem is it has screws sticking out of the back of the motor. So I've seen some people will recess those screws into the into the motor. Um, I just drill. The other option is a lot of people just drill a hole in the in the frame so that those motors sit inside the hole. So as you can see in this part, I I drilled um, two holes. And then I was able to drop the motor into where the old motor was. Use the same screws and everything, just bolt right in. So it took me a little while to line everything up. I did have to bend the one of the the screw um, brackets out a little bit to give me room to slide the motor in. And then once I got the motor in place, I was able to hammer, um, just tap the the brace back into place so it ended up working working really well um, it did take a little while like i said trial and error i put the motor in a few times and lined it up and and got the holes big enough and then um, i did use the sprocket off of the original motor the one that came with this kit um, was for a different size chain so i just pulled the old um, sprocket off of the old motor and put it on the new one. You can of course change the size of the sprocket to give you different speeds if you want to go faster, have a higher top speed, or maybe not pull the pull wheelies as as hard. Um, it's certainly up to to you. But using the same sprocket again, I I literally didn't spend any money other than the 230 to get the kit and the and four of those batteries and and as you'll see later it, it really gets cooking so once i got the motor in then i went ahead and um i was i'm just i just build a battery box or i'm going to build a battery box so i just cut the old uh, bracket out that held the batteries on because you know we're going with lithium batteries now and then as you can see here i pulled off the old handle grips and i put the the new throttle that came with the kit and I ran the cables in the same hole and then for this part I was just testing I just wanted to test it and make sure that it worked so I went ahead and um, mounted the controller just on that top frame piece right there just temporarily while I uh, set it set it up just just to do a quick test just to make sure that everything checked out so once I got the controller zip tied on and I use those batteries um, so RC battery sells a lot of different types of batteries and you just grab whatever's on sale is what I've always done so even though those are yellow they're the same batteries as the black ones um, those are actually some older batteries that I have that were even cheaper but um, right now the best deal you can get are those $20 batteries but if you go on their website, you have lots of different options for really good batteries. And of course, there's a lot of 48 volt batteries that people use. I was just going for something inexpensive. And the fact that I can use the 12 volt batteries is, 
is very helpful. So right there, I just plug my meter on just to see what the how much current draw on everything. And I did I did need to oil the chain. I oiled the chain up a little bit. You can see there's some surface rust on it because it's been sitting for a while. But once I plugged in the batteries, confirmed it worked, and throttled it up. can see that everything works and so at this point I'm going to drop the seat on it and take it around the cul-de-sac a couple times just to make sure that um, it's good and then in part two I'm going to build the battery box and show you how all the electronics get so stay tuned and